water is in but place you, you have before you get started? Mm-hmm. Like that's one thing on your checklist for yeah. your judge? I mean, this water starts off in, in there. <laughs> and but it, if the water doesn't start off in there, the other team is the only team losing. So, Because oh, this I is see. their point going into okay. the map. Mission 3, pump edition. Yes. <laughs> this starts off here. You push it into the black area, it needs to be completely in there, and I believe it also needs to be touching the other model. What does it say? Mm-hmm. Contact. It says yeah. contact. Completely in contact. Yeah, completely and contact completely in contact. pump edition target. Oh, like mm-hmm. this pump edition target. So it does need to contact. A strategy for this is uh, it's a lot uh, harder to push this uh, male end and uh, get that uh, to hook into there. So if you bring it back to base, you can put it in the opposite direction, and it's fully in the area, and it, as long as it's contacting, it should uh, should count, and you don't have to deal with uh, getting it. Mm-hmm. So it's not like partial points, or? It should be full just points. Just, Can you push that all the way back to the back of the thing and just slide it in? Like, turn it around? Uh, yeah, if you push it all the way back, you're able to just slide it in. But uh, And it starts right here, so that may work, but it also uh, would work to just bring it back and get it. Why like this you, if you didn't want to deal with that. Why would you take it all the way back? What's the benefit? It's easier to put in its position. Mm-hmm. I mean, you take it back to the, to the base, to base, retrieve it. If so you put it back to base, you're able to manipulate okay, it. Okay, that's that was my question. That's okay. the point. So, so you can turn it around. around. So you so can make you it go back around and yeah. have your robot drive it straight forward. Right. And right. And move it. So it puts it in the right spot. And just yeah, but um, do it whichever way works through. for you guys. Mm-hmm. And, and your sure sure it counts. Counts. It's it's up, you can do that. And this is information uh, we can tell our rain, yeah. <laughs> they, they have to do. So, <laughs> the rain starts off with water inside of here. Uh, collecting this water, you can actually use it for other missions, but uh, for now we'll just put them in here. All you do is move this across, and this one is a little bit squeezed together, but it will pop out, pop out there, and you get points as long as one water falls out. And a judge, if it is squeezed between there and not falling, they'll give you the benefit of the doubt and give you the point. So don't worry about that. How does that work again? Uh, all you do is move this across. Oh, okay. Uh, if so you if you move on, it across, yeah. the stuff doesn't fall. Yeah. 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 Um, if you look on uh, the other side, you uh-huh. see well. You see one side is a cloud, one side is a rectangle. Uh, the cloud, these things move, so these are not going to be the same for every single mission. So I would suggest using the rectangular side. You guys mm-hmm. can see that there. Mm-hmm. We can see it here. Use the rectangular side because you know that that's going to be the same every time. You don't know if this, uh, if you're relying on this being in this exact position, you don't know if it's going to be there. So um, Sam, going back to mission three, yes. I think you have to put it in the right way because it says that contact has to be completely in the cu- the pump addition. So I think it's saying that the yellow thing has to be in the in the slot. Okay. Well, there's two pump additions. Well, Sorry, it's there's the black area. And oh, that one. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, it, in the updates, they may clarify that because okay. there are updates for wolves. So. Yeah. Filter, move the filter north. There's a compass on the uh, north, <laughs> on the northwest side of your table. Just move it until the latch initiates. So once this uh, reaches a point where you can't pull it back, then you've gotten points for the mission. So move that was move the filter north until the la- lock latch. Props. Mission six, water treatment. Make the water treatment model eject its big water only by moving the toilet's lever. Alright, so if you put it in here, it will go like this. This mission's a little bit buggy and some are built wrong, uh, so watch out for that on your tables. But if you activate this lever, both the uh, the sludge, I guess, mm-hmm. and the big water will come out for your points. And you activate it by pushing this lever down. Oh, well, that lever, okay. Way over there. So that one has to be built just so, it sounds like, right? Uh, yeah. as it looks long pretty, as you, yeah, like, involved, I guess, you, would be the word. Usually <laughs> these missions, uh, it really doesn't it matter. Uh, if you're not using the water here or uh, the sludge there, really, you can just practice with this disconnected because it doesn't matter. Um, just right. have something laid out there and have something laid out there just in case your robot would cross over that path and it would mess it up. Right. 
So we'll, we'll fix them eventually. Make the fountain's <laughs> middle layer rise some obvious height, then stay there. Uh, yeah. Due to only a big water in the great tub. You see it lifting big up. Big water, great tub, Just yeah. obvious height. Put this here, it just needs to lift up. And if it's obvious that it lifted up, then you're good. So you brought it from this? Did you have to take it from base and put it in there? Yes. Yeah. This starts off in base. Two start off in base, I believe. And you just insert it into there. You can just drop it from a height or... Because if you just leave it in there... Actually, it works And does it stay gravity. there? Uh, it'll stay there the whole match. Because okay. if you... Anything that is underlined in the notes has to stay there the whole match. Oh, okay. And anything that has an asterisk next to it uh, means a specific method is required. Manhole covers. Put the manhole cover over. Obviously, pass vertical. I think you get extra points if, if you can leave it vertical. Mm -hmm. but, um, so you just flip it. This is each the cover is scored position. individually. There are curbs here. Uh, take note of these curbs. Uh, curbs with angles on them. So if you get it up to it, it's a good way to get under it because it's really hard for a robot to get under that. So use the curb to your advantage. Flip it. You get more points if it's completely inside and flipped. Less points if it's partially inside. Tripod. The tripod starts off where? In base. Okay. And you get a partial score when it's all of its feet are touching the mat. And one is at least inside that circle. And full score completely in, in there. And there's two of them there. Would the um, disc be in there at the same time? Uh, yes. If you Well, you can have it out, but you would, wouldn't get the points for uh, the manhole cover. Okay. So you're just going to have to figure out how to lift it up. This, uh, this circle is a little bit bigger, so it's a little bit easier to get it in there. This circle's smaller. That one's even smaller, I believe. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. But it's harder to get over here. That. They think of everything. Pipe replacement. Install the optional loop first. Show us that optional loop. Uh, I'm not building here, but there is a loop similar to this one that just fits in in there, and you're able to put it in. You don't have to, but you can uh, if you want to use it as a way to lift it and put it in there. It really doesn't matter. It's just so you move the new pipe from base, where the broken, where the, yeah, where you pull the other one out, so and it's got to be one, in flat, full contact with the mat. So the yellow one was the broken one, the blue one's the yes. repair. Okay, got it. Can you use the loop for the yellow one too? Uh, uh, the, there is a yeah. The this one starts off with a loop. Oh, I see. There's a replacement loop that uh, we don't have on this table. Uh, and okay, it's an yeah. optional it's like it's box button. Uh, it's similar to that, but gotcha. yes, like that. Oh. So you just plug that in there, okay. and then is it two prong versus one prong? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prong. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that, how, tell it that's how that works. Right. Okay. Thank you. Pipe construction. That is for the new pipe construction. That you can that one. Again, we're uh, uh, well. Same thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll move over there in that back corner. Oh yeah. Pipe construction. Mid. All right. Here we are. In this back corner right there for you, the little black box of the blue. Okay. I'd say if you ever want to do line following to the to the blue thing, follow the white line, not the black line, because if it reaches the mm -hmm. black box, it's going to mm -hmm. go crazy. Mm -hmm. Follow according to the And white you can have a loop. Can you just place the, place the pipes in there? Yeah, just place, place the half the pipes in there? Pipe in there. Right. Sludge. Move the sludge so it's touching the visible wood of any of six drawn garden boxes. So sludge comes out of this machine and, and we're garden boxes are there, there, there's six total over there on your mat. As long as it's touching part of the wood, and this is a good one for benefit of the doubt because it's not very well defined what is wood and what isn't. Um, and it could be right there or say this one's covering part of the wood. <laughs> Does that count? Does that count? So. Uh, that one's good for benefit of the, the doubt. Usually they'll get flower. Time. Make the flower rise. Without the yeast. You get a 
Small flower. Small flower, insert it into there. This one you will have to push down, gravity can't do it. Put that into there. Extra points if you get a small water and put it on top. You start with those oh, in the base and you can get it from the rain. Water well. Move the water well so it's contact with it. Contact with the mat, and the contact is partly in the water well target. So that starts in our base. This or starts. completely in the water well target. Remember, you can orient this however you want to. So upside down, I'd say squares are a lot easier to work with using Lego pieces. So if this is easier for you to grasp onto than this circle, start it upside down and move it that way. Hmm. Just and they even have a picture of it on its, on its side, side and yeah. receiving full points. Yeah. And you'll get full points for doing it upside down or any orientation. But it has to be right side up when it hits it or no? No. no. It just no. has to be completely right side of the circle. Mm -hmm. All rules apply. Okay, make a fire drop by making the fire truck apply direct force to the house and the lever. Fire truck? House? So you'd want to do the fire truck before this mission because this blocks your path. But you just drive the fire truck, and it has to manipulate um, this in order to for that the flame would drop down if you get it right. So just have the fire truck do that. Um, if you're planning on bringing the fire truck back to base because there's wheels on it, so it's really hard to move around and keep it going straight. And also, it's very hard to get in here because on this side, you can, you're can you good until here, but then you can't get it past. And then on this side, these barriers are blocking you. So you could bring it back to base, but if you do bring it back to base, uh, run the rest of the match with it upside down. It, uh, and it, it's able to smoothly turn and, do a, uh, and move around a lot better upside down, and it'll count just the same. That's another strategy. Water collection, move or catch big water or rain water, no dirty water. So it's touching the mat in the water target. Yep. So what constitutes dirty water? I was confused. It's the that. thing that comes out of the, that, the pump. That oh, is dirty see. water. Okay. If if you wouldn't, if it doesn't look uh, blue enough to drink, uh, it's dirty water. <laughs> <laughs> And if you can stack, yeah, and if you're able to stack these up, you're not able to attach them to one another, but if you're able to stack them so that they stay like that, you get extra points. How hard do you think that would be to do? Uh, all you do is just kind of pinch them like that without attaching them, and then you just bring them over there. The, uh, the rule of thumb for how attached they can be is if you can lift one up without the other one falling. So just put them uh, uh, female side together so they won't interact. And so you would you would move them together as a single unit instead of having one and then putting the other on top. That would be too hard to switch. It would be a lot easier to do it as one unit, okay. I think. Thank you. This gives an example of, uh, of how to do it. And the picture's here. Slingshot. Move the slingshot so it's completely in its target. This is the slingshot. This is its target area. Can I ask a question about this one? So what's the difference between like, is it that's in the box and that's not in the box? Yes. Uh, so the question is, uh, why is this, why does this count and that doesn't? It's because it's overhanging the mm, box, yeah. so it needs to be oh. completely inside. So it's kind of thinking the same way as you do about base. This is like yes. a mini base okay. kind of guy. That's what they're getting at? All right. Yeah. So it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that this has a green background and that has brown? Um, oh, okay. That's also another reason. Um, that, that's one, one way you could do it. Also, uh, the boundary of this, I believe, is this line or this line. It's one of the... It, it specifies what the boundary is. I don't quite remember it, but... Um, pretty much just don't move this thing. Uh, the reason why people would want to move it is to bring it back to base and then load it yeah. load it full, but mm -hmm. okay. that would work as long as you moved it back there at the end of the match. So you can do that if you would like. Okay. Well, it's 30 points to have a stat, and that's a pretty good score, so they must think it's hard. I think for this one, 
Mm -hmm. um, you can throw a rainwater in here, mm -hmm. and from the rain machine, you can get 15 extra points for it when you you can handle it in base. Oh. Yeah. So if you're well, gonna well, put it back there, you might as well yeah. put a water in it. Yeah. So with the dirty water and a rain. Oh, I see. How does the slingshot work again? Slingshot. Um, it, it's able to slingshot stuff out. There's no actual reason for it to be called a slingshot. Just uh, put that in there with dirty water and clean water, and you'll get the most points. But you and have to retrieve the water from somewhere on the board first. Yeah. So from the rain. So. Do you, do you get do you get rain in? in uh, I know you get in these in in base, but I'm unsure if you get these small ones. Okay. You may get them. So. It's on. But the slingshot itself starts in base. Uh, the slingshot does, yes. That's confirmed. Okay. And okay. so does like the well. Oh, number 18, the faucets make the water obviously more blue than white, as seen from above the cup. So if you just turn this, uh, this one, this faucet yeah, is broken. Just, that faucet does work. So I believe it's, it's the yellow handle. If you turn it oh, clockwise, okay. it activates it to blue water. If you turn it counterclockwise, it activates it to white water. It just flips it. It's just the one side does it, the other side does not. One side is free spinning, one side is geared up to it. And the last thing is penalties then. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your attention. Uh, any, any questions about strategy?